Hi, Lottie Lou. Lottie Lou. And Mia Girl. Woo! Mia Girl. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I tell you, that Lottie is something else, isn't she? Look at her, look at her chandeliers. Lottie and her chandeliers. Oh, my, my. Yeah, who knew? They had to be, I, I don't know if they're related. What do you think? I think they're related somehow because they have their butts more than the Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Yes, she is. Uh, woo! Hi, Susie. Hi, Margie. Oh. Oh, wow. So cute. Mm-hmm. Ma, Rhonda, they're, they're, yeah. They gotcha. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Look at her. And look at all these empty cages I get to go fill. So, the big gift 2023, guys. We broke 100. Not bad, right? We're excited because now that Milton building is fully funded for the construction of the building itself, and now we have money for the play yard. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I will also make a note uh, of something I want you guys to be really proud of. We had over 600 donors, but I want you to also know we're number one in the extra small category that they put us in this year because uh, we had the most raised in that category, the most donors. But we only have two paid staff here, two. So this is truly a volunteer effort group with only two paid staff. So we're doing here the work that some people have full staff with million dollars in payroll we get it done here with two people, so I am so proud and so thankful for all of you. Um, thank you very much because I know you all believe in our mission. Um, we're just we're excited. It's been a long 24 hours, but the end result was worth it. Hold on. I know Rhonda's happy too. We're happy. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. I like those glasses, Rhonda. Those are very stylish. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. We love her. Yeah, she's a good girl. Look at this face. Look at that chunk of chunk of face. She does have a squishy face. Her personality is perfect. It is. She's just perfect. We're so excited. Thank you, everyone, for your support and love your donations and you know every single penny gets spent on these dogs. That's right. That's right. Every single penny. And we have two paid staff. <laughs> I'm really proud of that because you know what that means what that says to me? That people like to volunteer here. People like to volunteer their time. We're small but we're mighty. So the roar of a lion goes a long way with Tracy's paws, two paid staff, and one tired lady, and Ron has died. We're all pretty wore out, but you know what? We're, we're proud, we're excited. Now we get to move on to the next chapter. And I called the contractor. I said, hey, Gary, when is this building gonna be done? I said, I have some anxious and excited lions. They wanna know, when are we gonna have this building done? He said, oh, I should be able to have it done in six months. I was like, really, six months? So new play yards, a brand new building with a beautiful finish out. Um, we'll have our classroom over here. Let me show you. I believe I'm gonna put the classroom over in the smaller room here. 
And then when the kids come, they can watch the surgeries from this room because we do our surgeries right in here. And then we'll have our um, cell block six is still going to be cell block six. But we'll still have dogs uh, in here, of course and the beautiful play yards that we already have. But we're going to have a classroom now. Because like I said, nothing happens uh, long term that's sustainable without education, guys. Um, the type of education we need in these communities is, yes, we need to teach people how to bottle field, feed baby kitties and all that, yes. But we have to educate the people as to why those baby kitties are coming in to begin with. Why do we have such a bad overpopulation problem in the areas that we go and a community that is not educated in terms of uh, responsible pet ownership? We have to focus on that. We have to. So Tracy's Paws, the whole month of October is booked with educational events, with Live Oak, with, um, who else we got? Uh, a group up in North Austin we're gonna be with on the 15th. And then we're in U Valley in November. Uh, we have a couple vet clinics up in Spring Branch that have booked us for educational events with children. This is how it's done, guys. The education has to go hand in hand with our rescue efforts if we ever are going to have a sustainable long-term program that's going to create more of us that's what we want right so on that note i'm going to have everybody say goodbye hold on all right guys say goodbye bye we love all of you and we oh i'm going shopping tomorrow night so I'll be bringing in some new babies. I'll be visiting Westlaco and some private rescuers down near the border. And if I'm not too exhausted, I'll do a live feed Saturday night. But if I'm too tired, it might be Sunday, okay? <laughs> I love all of you. Bye.